Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be in my dining room again. This time I'm going to be decorating my hutch and I already did the top because I have to do this on the stepladder and it's easier just to show it after I have done it. Now I'm going to be decorating down below. I'm going to start over on the right side here and I'm not going to do anything on the top shelf. I did move, remove a few things. I'm going to be doing something on the middle shelf. So the first thing that I am going to do here on this middle shelf is I am going to be using this Nutcracker. I just love this Nutcracker. I got him at a thrift store and he's got crackle and lace on him and I think he looks perfect in here for the French country look. Now I'm going to be adding a little arrangement here that I'm going to do. This is just a little urn that I normally use in my family room and I am just going to put a little piece of greenery in the back of it. I have rocks in here so it kind of helps hold the picks in there. Now I'm going to be using another pick here that has a little pine cone on it and I like the, the variegated leaves on here. Then I'm going to be sticking in this little ornament pick if I can get it to go in. And I'm also going to tuck in a couple of berry picks. This is actually just little pieces off of another pick but I didn't really like it on the pick. I think it was at the end of the pick and I just took it off and I thought you can use it somewhere else. I also want to add a few pieces here in between the nutcracker and the urn. Again, I'm just using little bits and pieces that I have. I'm going to tuck this one in here. Then I have this pick here. I like the burlap leaves. I got this at Walmart. I don't know if I got it last year or the year before. I'm going to tuck that in there. Then this is just another piece from another pick. I'm kind of put it in front of the legs. And then I'm going to put some rusty jingle bells in here. I'm going to tuck one in over here. And I'm going to tuck one more in over by the feet. Sometimes you got to tweak these things. And it doesn't want to stay. Okay, move it around a little bit here. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just can't get these things to stay where you want them to. And I think that's going to do it. Okay, don't breathe. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be going down on the bottom of the hutch here. I'm not going to do that shelf yet because I'm going to add something here first. This is a picture frame that I just recently got at the ARC thrift store and this was the picture in there. Yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't figure it out. It was $4.99 but it was half off and I do love the frame and it's not even one that I need to paint. I already like the way it looks. But I just couldn't believe that picture with zebras and a giraffe was in this frame. <laughs> so I'm just going to set this right here kind of frame out my little soup terrain there. And I'm going to add this over to the side. This is one of the DIYs that I did. I have a video on that. Now I'm going to hang this little bell ornament. I got these, I think at Hobby Lobby a really long time ago, and I just taped it to the back. Now I'm going to add in the ice skates that I repainted. And then I will be adding something off to the right, but not yet. Let's go ahead and work on this shelf. All right, I'm just going to stick in a little greenery pick here and another one of those ornaments. And sometimes you gotta play with this to get it to stay. Sometimes these things just do not cooperate with me. 
I don't know why. I think that will do it. Okay. Then I also want to do something over here. I have to go find something. All right, so I have this little, it's a little door hanger with some bells on it, and I just hooked it over the plate, and I still want to do something over here. So, you know, the only thing I could find was this big ornament. It's just a plastic one. It came with two others all hooked together with a bow on it that I got from Goodwill for like $1.99 and it was half off, so I'm just going to stick that there. Let's go over to here. I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery up here. I'm going to keep all my ironstone pieces up here and then I'm going to add a wreath on the doors. And then of course I got to do a little bit more down here by all my soup trains. So let's go ahead and do this top shelf first. I'm going to use another one of those picks from Walmart because I want to add some more burlap in here. And another one of these picks. I love these. Uh, I can't remember if I got those at Walmart or where I got those. And another little piece over here. And another one of the little rusty jingle bell ornaments. Going to tuck that in there. I'm going to have to do a little bit of tweaking on that area there but let's go ahead and get my wreath on here now this is that wreath that I got from the knees and I did add the three rusty jingle bells and I also am adding these three little picks that I have I want a little touch of white in here and I think that is plenty for on here I don't need a bow I like the way it looks it's perfect size for my hutch now I'm going to add this nutcracker. I have another one that was up on top. I'm going to add him over here. And then I'm just going to add my little candy dish here. That I am going to be putting a little, little bit of greenery and a large ornament on it. So I'm just going to show you this right now because I'm going to put the greenery on here in just a few seconds. But I think this fits perfect in here and that's one of those that I got from Walmart. Now I went ahead and put the green around and I stuck another one of the rusty jingle bells just to tie it in with this side. And I will be doing another one just like this over on the right. But now I gotta add a little bit of greenery in here. As you can see, I did the one on the right here and I'm just going to tuck this piece of greenery into the frame area. And that is all I'm gonna be doing on this side. And I did go ahead and tuck a little bit more over there by the soup terrains, but this is how it ended up. And I did add a couple more items. We'll, we'll look at them in the close-up. Let's just go ahead and check out the whole hutch here. So I did add a few pine cones over in this little candy dish, but I've left everything else the same. And down on this shelf, I added one of those little redneck wine glasses that I got from Goodwill. I put some fake snow in there and just a small bottle brush tree. Again, I really love this wreath that uh, I got from Anise. That is definitely the perfect size for these doors. And I only just stuck a little bit of greenery around the soup trains here. Okay, so that is my hutch and I put a little tree over here on my chair 
Still got to decorate that and I will be doing a tablescape in here too. Not sure if I'll have that up tomorrow but I am going to be continue on in here and that will be my next video finishing out the dining room. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did I'd appreciate a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell to receive all the notifications of my new videos coming up. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.